A former Dade County Sheriff spends almost 4,000 taxpayer dollars on suits months after he finds out he won't be reelected. His explanation that suits were for his investigators and deputies to wear to court. Well, the only problem is nobody at the Sheriff's Department received them. News Channel 9's Micaiah Thurman has pulled the bank statements and crunched the numbers. She joins us now with that story. Micaiah. Kim, Latricia, we've all seen the men's warehouse commercial slogan, you'll like it and I'll guarantee it. But one ex-sheriff may have taken the company offer a little too far. This is some video we shot of ex-sheriff Patrick Cannon when he was still in office. After losing the Republican primary for his re-election in 2012, Cannon went on a shopping spree that sent the Dade County Executive Board searching for answers. On October 11, 2012, Cannon spent almost $3,000 at this Chattanooga Men's Warehouse and $600 at this J.C. Penney's. After getting the bank statement, the Dade County Board of Commissioners called Cannon in for questioning. He just uh, informed me that uh, it was for for, uh, you know, new suits, new clothes for mm -hmm. uh, for his uh, top officer, which was his detectives, and now to wear to, to uh, court. Technically, Cannon was still in office for 30 more days, so the purchases were within his authority. The only problem is the employees never got the suits. Now, Rumley questions whether this shopping spree was intended to purposely put a dent in the incoming sheriff's budget. You know, you know that that person coming in is going to have whoever it is that's elected is going to have six months of the previous person's budget to work under. So you really, you know, you really crack down on anything, you know. I mean, not that you would suspect them of doing anything, but you, you've got to make sure that, that whoever that person is and whatever office it is, that they, they do not go in and, and actually um, exert the money in the, account, the accounts. With a card maximum at more than $6,000, the county commission has now put boundaries in place to prevent this from ever happening again. We went ahead and uh, we lowered the uh, limit to that card down to, um, I think it was 250 $250. One district commissioner says that although this is legal, he questions Cannon's ethics. It, it's just putting it on the back of the taxpayer mm -hmm. that really I don't think should have should have been done, but and hopefully we get to the bottom of it and, and find out what did happen. Now I've reached out to the former Dade County Sheriff for his side of the story, but my calls went unreturned. We'll definitely keep an eye out on the investigation and let you know what happens. Kim? Makaya, okay, thank you very much.